Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing the Semper Fit 365 review after I completed the eight week program. So for those of you that don't know and are new to my channel or are watching this video um, and have not seen my prior videos on Semper Fit 365, I would recommend to go check those out before proceeding with this video. With that being said, make sure you watch the end of the video uh, because I give a full, complete, honest review on the workout program. I am going to first share a final workout and then we'll get into the review. First up, we have lateral raises. For my split, the rep goal was 10 to 15 reps within the first set. And then for the next four sets, the rep range was four to six reps with the rest time in between being a 15 second pause. Next up, we have dumbbell or kettlebell reverse lunges. Your rep goal is different for every set. The first set, you wanna go the heaviest weight with six reps, then decrease the weight by five pounds, do eight reps. Same thing for set three and four, decreasing by five pounds each set and increasing to 10 reps for set three and 12 reps for set four. Your rest time for this exercise is about two to three minutes. Once you finish one side, you head on over and do the other side. As you can tell in this video, my legs are a lot more muscular than in prior videos. This is a little sneak peek to the review because I don't wanna give it all the way now, but let's just say these quads and legs are looking good. Since a pyramid scheme could be a little difficult, I am gonna show you how I did decrease the weight here and then increase my rep range. So in the first set, I was using a 14 kilogram kettlebell on each arm and I completed six reps. In this set, set two, I'm holding 12 kilogram kettlebells in each hand and I will complete eight reps. As a disclosure, please do not compare your weight with mine. It is completely different for everybody. Use a weight that is challenging but still comfortable. You don't want to be in pain at all. I'm also going to film the third set just so you can see that I also went down in weight again. I'm holding 10 kilogram kettlebells on each hand for 10 reps. Um, if you use kilograms as opposed to pounds, it's a little bit different um, in the amount of weight that you change. If it's kilograms, I like to decrease by two kilograms each set. If it's by pounds, I decrease about five pounds each set. Just make sure you're comfortable and never compromise your technique or form because of the weight. If you feel like the weight is challenging enough, then go ahead and keep it, but challenge yourself. Try to do the first couple reps of the next set, maybe with the higher weight, and then switch back. I also want to disclose that reverse lunges and forward lunges are two different types of lunges for a reason. Reverse lunges do target the booty. Um, I'm not sure if you can see the full pump in my glutes in this video, but I can guarantee you in person it was pumping. Reverse lunges are great for your glutes. Your, your quads will still be used, but it's a great way to focus on your glutes. I'm also gonna film set four. Um, just because this is the first pyramid of this workout, I want to just get all the sets in so I can show you exactly what I did. Um, so for this last set, I went down 2 kilograms again to 8 kilogram kettlebells in each hand, and I'm going to increase my rep range to 12 reps. 
as a reminder, I want to note that it's very important to complete those two to three minute rests in between your sets because we're trying to build muscle here. So you're gonna wanna let that muscle rest in between sets so you can really give it your all. Really, really go in for each rep in the following set and make sure that your muscles aren't too fatigued uh, before you know, you've given it your all. You will also note that I rest a little bit in between switching sides. That's because uh, my arms do get tired. My arms are a little bit weaker than my lower body. Um, that's probably one of the reasons why Carlos, the maker of these SemperFit 365 programs, included upper body in my workouts because he saw that my upper body was limiting my lower body. So I do give my arms a rest so I don't affect my leg performance. That's completely okay as well and also remember to use your breath to your advantage so you don't tire uh, too quickly next up we've got the dumbbell or barbell sumo deadlifts I say dumbbell or barbell because it is up to you for this first set I went ahead and used 75 pounds and completed six reps for this exercise you're also going to do pyramid scheme I'm not going to film every single set because I did that with the prior exercise and I don't want to bore you. So I'm only going to film about two sets, I believe, because I think you've got the point. So again, we're going to complete four complete sets. And with each set, you're going to decrease by five pounds or two kilograms, depending on what you're using, and then increase your rep range. So set one will be six reps, set two will be eight reps, set three will be 10 reps and set four will be 12 reps. And this one is also important to rest in between your sets. You're going to want a rest time similar to the prior exercise, about two to three minutes, just to make sure you perform your best in every single set, every single rep within each set that you do. Lastly, we've got the barbell hip thrust. We're going to do four sets, again, pyramid scheme. I started off with 75 pounds and six reps. Set one is six reps, set two, eight reps, set three, 10, and set four, 12 reps. Go ahead and rest one to two minutes between each set. I also didn't film the last exercise, which are seated dumbbell shoulder presses. You're just gonna do four sets in the rep range of six to 10 reps with a rest pause of 40 seconds. I hope you enjoyed this workout. So now that we got our workout in, let's head into the review. So the workout program was an eight out of 10. Eight out of 10 because I am someone who likes to focus on one particular body part, um, sometimes even down to the specific muscle a day. And this workout program was a three day split where I did some upper body workouts with lower body. I personally don't enjoy that, but I did see results. So since I am not a personal trainer, there is probably a logistics behind why um, the three-day split incorporated both upper and lower body. I don't know the answer to that, but if you comment below or reach out to me and wanna know more, I can definitely get that answer for you. Other than that personal preference, um, I really feel like the workout program is tailored to me. Um, I spoke with Carlos, which is the personal trainer who creates these workout plans tailored to each specific client. Um, I told him what my goals were. I told him I wanted to grow my quads and my glutes. And the workout program did just that. Um, there were changes in my measurements and other parts of my body, but I wasn't focusing on those too much. I just was focusing on the goals of growing my quads and glutes and it, the, the results were amazing. Um, not only did I grow in inches, but you could tell the difference between my leg um, being more muscular now as to opposed to more um, fat than muscle prior. Even though I've been working out for a very long time, um, I saw the change in muscle, which is very difficult. For those of you that have been training for a very long time, you know that 
At first, it was a little bit easier to gain muscle. Not easy. Notice I didn't say easy. I said a little bit easier because growing muscle is super challenging for most of us. Um, but yeah, this, this workout program really did um, help me see the muscle gains. I will be sharing the before and after pictures in a later video just because I want this video to be more of a review of the workout program instead of a before and after focused video, if that makes sense. So um, something else I would like to say about the workout program. It is a very intense. Um, each week you will increase your weight. Each week you will sweat more than the previous week. Um, but you will definitely see not only the physical changes, but you will feel the strength that you're gaining. So my particular split was great in the sense that um, on day one, I did kind of like a, a, a all lower body workout that like the compound exercises that were targeting my glutes, right? So they were compound exercises. They weren't isolating. Um, like I did some lunges, deadlifts, things like that. But since I wanted to grow my glutes, um, Carlos implemented that little focus on glutes. So that was great. Um, for example, let me be a little more specific. Um, instead of doing your regular deadlifts, he did sumo deadlifts, which, you know, sumo stance, booty. Um, and then for the upper body, I believe it was lateral raises, um, shoulder, um, can't think, shoulder press, sorry, I couldn't think of the word, and things that were focused on my shoulders. Um, and then day two, it was isolation exercises for my lower body. I did the quads and hamstrings separately, not in a compound. Um, and then I did for my back and some biceps. So it's like, you see the split, it's like a full body every day that you go to the gym. And then the third day, boy, was that a killer. That was booty, 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 and then quad, quad, quad. Isolation. So there was, I think, one compound to warm up, and then it was really targeted to either your quads or really targeted to your glutes. And then for upper body, we did some triceps, and then balancing um, with, again, a bicep-focused upper body. So I would say... There are no easy days, but he did make day two the easiest of the three, I guess in preparation for day three. I don't know if it was a coincidence, probably not because he knows what he's doing. Um, but yeah, I really did love the workout program in general. Um, it took some getting used to. At first I was like, I don't want so much upper body. It's like gonna affect my gains, but no, I trusted. I went through with it and I did see um, I think it was two inches total around my quads each that um, I gained. That's crazy because I've been working out for a long time. So um, yeah, so go ahead and let me know if you want to try this out. Go ahead and check um, Carlos's page out um, and his personal training page at SemperFit365 on Instagram. And I hope you like this video.